G'day everyone, Gareth here from Fraser Case Food Forest. I'm going to do another video today, an unboxing. I've ordered some seeds and some strawberries from the Diggers Club. And um, we're going to unbox them. They did alright, they got here in about four days. And this is how they packed them. You can see they taped everything together so they can't move. That they were all taped in the same way as these ones. Put some seeds in here. So we're going to unwrap it and we'll have a look because I can't quite remember what varieties I've got and what seeds I've got. So I'll unwrap this and we'll come back later. Alright, so we've taken them out of the box. These are all the strawberries, there's 20 of them. Three varieties. For memory see how they've packed them so nothing's going to come out and then these were taped to the box so they weren't even going to move inside that box really well packaged actually and um there's not one one strawberry even even these little delicate ones that they haven't broken they haven't been able to move and um which is pretty good considering they've come all the way from Dramana on the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria all the way up to Harvey Bay in Queensland and um, I'm going to take all this tape off and then we'll go through some of the varieties and then I'll show you, show you the seeds that I've bought as well all right so I'll pause and we'll, we'll, we'll get back to this hang on all right guys we've done the unpack and that was quite time consuming that was um, but I'll go through the varieties of strawberries and then we'll go through the, the seeds and then I'll tell you how much I paid for it including postage from Melbourne to, to um, Harvey Bay in Queensland which is a bloody long way and considering it took four days that was pretty good um, I ordered something from the Gold Coast um, and that was a nightmare that actually took ended up taking almost three weeks to get here and that's only about uh gold coast about a two and a half three hour drive from here melbourne's it's about oh 20 28 28 hour drive <laughs> there you go anyway let's go through these so these two varieties of strawberries here this is the Juliet variety uh, just an average size fruit but super sweet and delicious and then the second variety which are all these ones here we have the Diego Diego yeah I think that's how you pronounce it um, which is another average size strawberry with excellent flavours. I'm just going by what the description says on their website. And then we have this one which I was excited about called the Sumo. And you could probably know why it's called the Sumo because they're a super large strawberry. So I'm really excited about that. And, and another thing I noticed was this one here, we've already got a strawberry growing in this one. And look at it, it's tiny. And there's another one here, look, it's a bigger strawberry, this one. In there. And we'll get these planted as soon as I can. And, um,. Get some strawberries ASAP because we go through so many. All right, let's go through these seeds. So this one here is a, a spinach, the Bloomsdale, which is um, it's a sort of a small leaf, I guess, spinach, like a baby spinach. Um, and this one is 120 seeds with an 85% germination rate. It's pretty good 85% is pretty good all right 
and then we've got some some snow peas here which is a dwarf variety and that's another 85 percent germination rate so this one you can harvest in 16 weeks this one here this one here's a seven week harvest so they give you all this really good information on this one as well this this one here is the great lakes lettuce And you could harvest this from 11 to 12 weeks. Another 85% harvest in 11 weeks. Now I'm I'm positive. No, actually, I won't say I'm positive. I'm sure that this variety of lettuce is what McDonald's uses um, because it it has quite a good shelf life compared to other lettuce um, varieties. So there's your lettuce, the Great Lake. And that's 200 seeds. The, the peas, I think, were 50, I think. Seed count, 60 on that one. And then we got the baby cost lettuce. 120 seeds, 90% germination rate. Harvest in nine weeks. And then we've got the bean, the, stri the stringless pioneer. Harvest in nine weeks. Germination rate 85, and there's 30 seeds in this one. And we've got the double yield cucumber. 30 in this, 30 seeds, 91% germination rate with a harvest in seven weeks that's not a bad one that one seven weeks is good and we've got the cucumber here gilboya orange which i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure you can harvest these when they're green and i think they even go red as well for memory well i guess we'll find out but this has got 30 seeds 80 85 percent germination rate 16 week harvest and then we have another cucumber variety here the california wonder these are the big capsicums um i don't know how to describe them they're just, they're just the largest variety of cucumbers that you sort of see in the supermarket whoops and this has got 30 seeds 90 percent germination rate 16 week harvest and then we've got the bean, the baby sun, which is a, it's a similar one to the other bean uh, I showed you in looks. And this one here, 30 seeds, 85% germination, harvest in 10 weeks. And then we've got a couple of varieties of tomato here, 85%, 25 seeds, 7 weeks harvest. Wow, that's pretty good. What have we got here? Tomato, beans, yellow pear. So a yellow tomato, and I believe it's a it's a um, a small, it's like small, like a cherry tomato, but a a um, pear shape. There's, there's right there. See. <laughs> so here we go. We got. 25 seeds, 90% germination, and seven week harvest. And then we've got the mini Amish tomato here, which just looks like a normal classic shaped tomato. And that one is 25 seeds, 85%, and 13 week harvest. So there's all, your, all the seeds. So we've got 20 strawberries. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 packets of seeds and that grand total including shipping cost me cost me $210.15 that's Australian dollars obviously so $210 is that worth it yeah most definitely like 
will be inundated with strawberries for sure and you know these seeds are going to last a couple of years you know these are best before 2026 so 25 so there's two or three maybe even four years on some of these which is pretty good 2024 so I'm, I'm happy 200 bucks when you look at the price of strawberries these days and you look at the plot price of your lettuce these days it's ridiculous paying $12 for a for an iceberg lettuce all right now I'm going to show you where these are going to go and this turned up the other day so we're going to walk over I've already set them up I'm super excited about this. That's where they're going. I should have done a video setting it up because it's pretty bloody easy. But here we go. These are a Mr. Stacky five tier. Um, I don't know raised planter containers, I don't know what you'd call them. So from Mr. Stacky, we've got there about 40 centimeters across with four planting areas on each level. But not only that, because we're growing it in a tower and the sun will be going over here in the summer. So it'll probably get shaded at the back here. Good thing about these, can turn them every couple of days. Look at that. Also, what you can do, you can send an irrigation system up through the middle and then have a drip irrigation. So you don't even have to bother about watering them. I'm not gonna do that at the moment. I'm just gonna water them by hand until, until I get the, all the veggie garden put in here and established and I'll put an irrigation system in so there you go we've got 20 spots here for all the strawberries and then this side we're going to grow the lettuce the beans um, might even attempt to try and grow some capsicum in it we'll see how we go because no, they can get quite big but we'll grow a variety of different things in here and see how we go but that's where they're going hope you enjoyed the video i'm really happy with um mr stacky's products and also the diggers club um products they have really good varieties of um plants like high quality seedlings and plants at the diggers club get on the website have a look I used to be able to drive down there when I lived in Melbourne and purchase a lot of the stuff. But, um, yeah, now I've got to get them delivered. Oh, I wanted to show you something else, just quickly. We now have one, two, and there's the third rack, or bunch, already coming out. Look at that. And again, all about a month apart. I wonder if this one's going to spit out a, a flower in the next month or so. Alright, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And remember, give us a thumbs up. Share the videos, that helps. I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye.